new car. Yes, not as elegant as a bike, or as convenient as my own car, but it does the job. We're here. Hey guys, welcome to Lafayette Park, where, you know, the White House is right over there, but I'm going to take you somewhere else that you guys have been begging me to take you to, the White House Visitor Center, a place I haven't been in 20 years because, well, it's boring, and it's been closed for about the last 18 months, but apparently it's reopened, so let's go take a look. So there's the White House. Quite a few protesters today, but I don't see the hunger strikers. Their little camp seems to have uh, disappeared. Hmm. We'll go look for them. All right, since you're going to ask anyway, yes, I did have a car accident last night on the way back from Baltimore. Uh, about four cars uh, stopped suddenly, and there was kind of a chain reaction. I was the last car, and I probably hit, I probably hit harder than any of the other cars involved in the accident. Uh, gotta get a new hood, new new bumper and all that. C'est la vie, that's life. Anyway, so we're gonna be walking a lot the next couple weeks because apparently there's a parts shortage nationwide trying to get new car parts. <sighs> Bummer. Everybody taking pictures. Oh, one of the vehicles is on the move. Uh, one of the vehicles is coming in. This is gonna be an interesting uh, conundrum. Who shall pass, who shall not pass? Can they actually fit two cars over there? I guess we're about to find out. One goes in, one comes out. And I guess they can fit two cars on the White House driveway. Jumping picture. Okay, not much up at the White House, no spotters on the roof, uh, the Marine is over there right now, might have to zoom in, but let's go to the visitor center, eh? So we're on the back side of the World War I Memorial, whether our lives or deaths were for peace or a new hope or for nothing we cannot say, it is for you who must say this. They say, we leave you our deaths, give them their meaning. We were young, they say, we had died, remember us. Archibald McLeish. And uh, the World War I Memorial is the newest war memorial, still being worked on. It'll be another year or two before the statues are up. But it's notable because it's also across from the White House Visitor Center. I literally was just thinking, I probably have not been in the White House Visitor Center since the 1970s. <laughs> I think the last time I was there was a trip I took with my parents to Washington when I was but a kid. And I think it was the only time. In all my years in Washington, I never actually went to the White House Visitor Center. I went to the White House a couple of times, but never the Visitor Center. And I go to the White House Historical Society, which is on the other side of the White House. But I never really come here for the tourist bits because, well, I don't really go in the White House as a tourist much. Now, this has been closed for many months due to COVID, but I gather it's now reopened. So what do you say we go inside and take a look? And always there's a gift shop. The Camelot Collection. All the Jackie Kennedy stuff. That's the special Camelot ornament. So this year, I think they have a Jackie Kennedy ornament down here. And this is the White House. This is the West Wing, I think, over here. Yep, that's the North Portico. The East Wing over here. Whose desk is this? James Hoban desk. Leftover desk on the original White House construction. Bill Clinton's plate. <laughs> Gaudy. Some of the statues are outside. This is the Jackson Memorial. That's the big red one. 
and Lafayette. Well, this is some sort of regal chair. Gerald Ford and Emperor Hirohito sit on the Balage chair in the Blue Room, 19, 1975. Funky. Oh, the White House Easter egg roll. That's a chaos fest every year. What are these? Oh, this is the White House movie cinema. <laughs> they got crappy. Oh no, it's the press room chairs. It just looks like White House uh, cinema chairs. So I think you're getting why I don't really come here. <laughs> it's pretty dull. White House serving bowl. <laughs> Well, this is nuts. A centerpiece from Ulysses Grant. Sewing machine made uh, the blackout curtains in World War II. That's the presidential chocolate mold. Wine holders and the Abraham Lincoln China Punch Bowl. Okay, pretty funky. Yeah, this is about moving day. This is crazy. On moving day is like a well-oiled machine. In 9, 30, 10, 11 o'clock they leave, and by 5 o'clock the new president comes in and everything's already in place. They go nuts. All right, let's go down over here and see what we see. Oh, there's a sleigh over here and a Christmas tree. over here. I think this is what you guys have been asking about. A display of all the presidents. Through Trump though. Sorry, go ahead. So yeah, there is no Joe Biden. Not yet. So there you go, guys. Yes, it is true. Donald Trump is still shown as president. So, yes, it is true. Donald Trump is still listed as president on this display back in a corner of the White House Visitor Center. But I should also note what's here. Joseph Biden Jr., the 46th president of the United States. So... While there is, back here, Donald Trump, up here, there is a display about Joe Biden. So, so yes, guys, on this big artsy display of presidents of the United States, Donald Trump is listed as the last president, 2017 till, well, no, no listing. But what I need to point out is around here, the other side a display of Joseph Biden as President of the United States. There's photographs of him in the White House, him with the Easter Bunny, etc. So yes, on one side there is a picture of Donald Trump, but on the other side there is a picture of Joe Biden. So I know a lot of you are asking me about that, just wanted to point that out. Got oh, here just in time, there's a big old line now. Lots of tourists want to come here, I guess, since she can't really go anywhere else. All right, you know what? Let's go for a walk. Need to get some fresh air. The National Museum of Asian Art. We'll swing over here by the castle. The Smithsonian Castle, which is basically just an info booth now. I don't think there's many exhibits in here. And let's make our way up to the Capitol. So over here is the Arts and Industry Building, the second oldest Smithsonian. I took you guys here about uh, a week or two ago. You can find that video up in the top right corner. There'll be a little link on the card. But that was a pretty cool exhibit on the future. 
and that museum has like that museum has no official 24 365 displays they, it's, it's a rotatable gallery there's no like permanent collection the museum's been closed for like 20 years Ooh, here's this spooky. My kids freak out. They say, these are so freaky, Dad. These big heads on the side of the museum, the uh, Hirshhorn Sculpture Garden. They're like, Dad, that's so freaky. My kid's into the word freaky right now. Oh. Okay, let's go see the U.S. Capitol. Why are we going up to the Capitol? Because I went on the Capitol webcam earlier today and I saw the POW MIA flag was back up on the US Capitol. But I don't know if that was a live feed or a loop of something from the past. So let's go see, is the POW MIA flag currently flying at the Capitol? And the answer is yes, it is. I see it, I can see it from here. The POW MIA flag has returned to the US Capitol but let me take you up closer so you can get a better look. Yep, I think you guys can see it. I can see it. The POW MIA flag is under the American flag once again. For those who don't know, President Trump passed a law, signed a law, that required the POW MIA flag to be flown at the Capitol and the White House and several other, even post offices, I think, every day. And uh, now it is prominently displayed on the West Front of the U.S. Capitol and over the White House as well. So let's, uh, let's go up closer, yeah? Maybe we take another look at the fence, too, yeah? See if anything new has happened on the big old fence. Oh, there's a big skateboarder. As I've told you before, the fence does not extend all the way around. This is the house chamber on the right, and you can see that the fence ends basically at the old, the old house chamber. The new house chamber is not fenced in. And you know what? We can't really get closer to the flag from here. I mean, I can see the American flag from here, but not the POW one. Let's, let's keep going up, maybe. So there's the flag flying over the U.S. Capitol today. Is it December 22nd? There's the dome, and there is the end of the fence. See? The fence comes to an end right over there at the old chamber, the Statuary Hall. The new house, which is in this building, is not fenced in. It's just that old west front. That part of it is fenced in. Alrighty make our way up and around see what's going on I don't know the house is not in session today I think they're all out for the Christmas holiday hmm what should we eat today I am pretty hungry so that's the uh, construction headquarters for the repairs that little those little sheds have been here for a couple of years now while they work on all the stone work so we're here at the canadian embassy rather large embassy but i pointed out they got a beautiful christmas tree here and this thing's all lit up at night time you can come out it's all red and white canadian osprey there's two of them i saw there it is Hey guys, back in a dark, dank alley. You know what that means. Barbecue. So guys, another day done and dusted in Washington, D.C. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to try to make a few videos over the holiday, but you know, I'm a dad. I got to do dad stuff too. Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you soon.